What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Paper Mario in the last part. Um, we did some side quests before chapter 3. We go to chapter 3 and uh, we opened these uh, two pipes right here. Interesting. Um, so anyway, in this part, um, I'm going to teach you a little trick if you want to 100% first of all. So you want to get Chuck Quizmo to appear, right? So uh, there he is! We're not going to say no this time. Go is I'm not gonna read this again. Yes, we're gonna. I'm not gonna read this all 64 times. Let's get to the question. Question: Which of Mario's battles is on the far left? That would be strategies. Correct. Congratulations. Here's your star piece. Yeah. So, uh, I don't think this works this time. But you want a trick to get Chuck Quizmo to can very consistently appear? Check this out. So, like, um, go to either, like, Goomba Village or Koopa Village, and, like, um... By the way, this pipe takes you to Koopa Village, but, um... Go to either Goomba Village or Koopa Village, and, like, if he doesn't spawn in one of these areas, just leave the screen... And, like, uh, see if he spawns there, and then he doesn't. Just kind of alternate until he shows up. Maybe even try alternating with the pipes, but yeah, he doesn't show it up. He hasn't shown up yet, so maybe we can try here again. This is a really fast way to find Chuck Quizmo, especially since 100% requires 64 questions that he has. So now we're going to see if we can try to go back to Guma Village and find him. This is a really fast way to get all the Chuck Quizmo quizzes, and I think I'll do a couple right here. There he is. We're going to, um... We're going to get to the question, and uh, yeah, this is a really good way to find him multiple times. Question. How many windows is the Goomba house that would have, uh, get, um, I think it's three. I don't have time to check. I think it's, uh, I think it's two. Well, that's the first one we got wrong, so, uh, let me just double check the Goomba house. Because, like, that, that's one of the questions I never remember the answer. Okay, it's just one, so, uh. Yeah, so we're gonna um, go back to Koopa Village and then try to see if we can answer this question proper. We're gonna we're gonna do Chuck Quizmo quizzes like periodically. Like yeah, there he is. We're gonna answer this question proper this time. So yeah, it has one. I'm not gonna read this dialogue like every single time. Because we've got six questions. I think I'll try one more. But yeah, this is a really fast way to get Chuck Quizmo to spawn. Really fast way. And um, if we when Goomba realizes he's not there, but we can just do this and just keep doing this until he spawns. He hasn't spawned yet. Where are you, Chuck Quizmo? Where are you? He's not going to spawn. There he is. There you are, Chuck Quizmo. All right, what's the question? Question. What's the name of the... Okay, Goomba King. So, yeah, we've got seven quizzes so far. So, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a way you can get Chuck Quizmo to spawn very quickly. And we're going to do this frequently throughout the course of the game. However, if we take the left pipe, this leads us to Dry Dry Outpost. And like, uh, it's just a quick way to get over here. Oh, Chuck Wismo! I didn't, uh, I didn't expect him to see him again, but um, yeah, let's get another question. Look at Luigi's pants, that would be blue. Now we've got eight Chuck Quizmo quizzes. So how are we doing on star pieces? Um, it would be um, six. So um, there's one thing you want to do after chapter two that you can't exactly do during chapter two. But um, we might we're not we may not even be able to do this yet. But like um, remember that tree and uh, dry dry ruins and dry dry desert that we could not hit that contains a letter. We're gonna go grab that. I don't even know if we can grab that yet. But we're gonna go and grab that. This Colorado's thing should not still be there now that we're in chapter three, but who knows? 
Who knows? And it's still there. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back here later and get that letter. Do not forget that letter. That's my advice. I've gone one. I've I've gone like playthroughs where I've just forgot one of the letters, and thus I don't have all the star pieces. But um, oh, we're not getting twisted, no. Anyway, so I'm recording this right after I, I write the script um to the Mario Golf. I guess I can show off Bomb's new move. Yeah, we're almost a level up also, but like, um, I'm recording this also the an hour after I wrote the script to the Mario Golf Super Rush Classic Duds. I don't know when it's going to be up. Like, I intend it to be up at the... It's going to be a two-parter where like, I... The, par the first part's going to be a mini introduction where like, the second part is going to be more... A more, uh, what am I trying to say? A more, in a more kind of like, introductory, uh, it's going to be more in-depth, but like, either way, we'll see where it goes. Anyway, so I actually wanted to go to Koopa Village for a reason. Right? We have more favors to take care of. Oh, what? Well, look, you came at the perfect time. You may come to me doing another favor. Yes. All right. So, um, I was shopping at Koopa's shop in the village, but, but on the way home, I must have dropped my wallet. So we have to go find his wallet. <laughs> we have to go find his wallet. So I think it's around here. That's a Koopa leaf. That's not his wallet. That is his, that is his wallet, though. The empty wallet. That is the first of the Koopa Koop favors before chapter three. Give him the wallet. We get a coin. And what's the next favor? We need a tasty tonic. Did I ever get a tasty tonic? Uh. I'll see you guys in a second. But first, more Chuck Quizmo action. <laughs> yeah, I have to show this at least. How many members of Goombara's family? Six. That gets us to nine Chuck Quizmo quizzes. There's gonna be much more throughout the course of this game. Anyway, so, um. I had to go all the way here because this is where we're gonna buy a tasty tonic. Now, um, I probably should have bought one earlier. I think that's also one of the tasty recipes, but I can't exactly remember which the which gets you it. I think you get that recipe later. Anyway, so now we're gonna go to Cooper Village proper. Maybe I'll try some more Chuck Quizmo action because I know how to manipulate his placement. But let's, let's try to see if he shows up. No, but we can manipulate his placement. We're gonna get that Chuck Quizmo to appear. We're gonna get him to appear. We're gonna get him to appear. No, but we're gonna get him to appear. We're gonna get him to appear. There he is. This is a very easy way to get Chuck Quizmo to spawn whenever you want. What we receive when you get the requiring of the piece? Star piece. All right, so that gets our star piece total up to eight. So uh, we have enough to buy more badges and shooting star summit. But anyway, we're actually, we're gonna go give that tasty tonic to Koopa Coot and um, no Chuck Quizmo, unfortunately. And we get we get a coin. And we're gonna do one last favor, and um, there's a beautiful foretelling on shooting star summit. So. I guess we can go get her autograph. So, um, I guess it also allows us to buy more badges. First, let's let's do our Chuck Quizmo. Let's do some more Chuck Quizmo. <laughs> let's go! Let's do some more Chuck Quizmo. Chuck Quizmo, what's your question? Who wants a smart toe living in Toe Town? That'd be Rusty. Chuck Wismo on the first try also. I get Chuck Wismo like right in the first try. Yeah, if you want Chuck Wismo to just, just appear over and over and over again, just keep going to Goomba Village. 
But anyway, we're now going to go to Shooting Star Summit. Now, uh, the maneuvering, I would say, is easier once you have the Speedy Spin Badge. I haven't gotten much into this, but, like, I think the Speedy Spin Badge is, like, one of the best badges you can get in the game because it doubles your speed. And that, like, with the Thousand Year Door remake coming out, like, even though Thousand Year Door is generally considered to be better than 64, like, a big problem I have with Thousand Year Door is how slow-paced it can be, like, the moving is. Like, you get the Yoshi Kid later in the game, but, like, that also is not really as fast as the speed spin. And also, Mario doesn't do the spin in Thousand Year Door, so that kind of makes going to backtracking a little bit harder. We get the, uh, yeah, we got, in, we got, it in the, we got those in the last part. Uh, my, my, hello there, Mario. This spot is a little tight for fortune telling. If you want your fortune telling, tuck me in the other counter. Excuse me, you want my autograph? Are you mercy? Are you sure it's mine you want? You really do? Well, this is the first. What shall I do? Uh, of course. I don't mean to be a stuck in the mud, but I'll give you the autograph on one condition. A small favor. I want you to visit my twin sister and fetch a crystal ball from her. She lives in a back alley in Dry Dry Outburst. Her name is Merley. Well, Mario, would you... I guess we have to go and deliver the favor, so I'll see you guys in a second. You bet your ass I try to get Chuck Quizmo to spawn. Always do this when you're backtracking, just always get him to spawn. How many bills are in the Cooper Village? Uh, shit. Uh, six. That was a little stumped on that one. I had to kind of visualize the layout. Yeah, there was six in there. And official. This is essentially the Chuck Quizmo episode. Like, Chuck Quizmo's the star of the show. Anyway, we're actually going to Dry Dry Outpost. And, um... Yeah, um, I didn't get lucky twice. No Chuck Quizmo. So anyway, we're gonna go to Merle and, uh, Dry Dry Outpost. And again, no Chuck Quizmo. Is this a Mervly? What she want? Oh, I see. Is that so? I better know. Oh, no. Okay. Please give this to Mervly with the left from her sis, Merly. Get the crystal balls. So, um, I will see you guys back at Shooting Star Summit. Hey, more Chuck Wismo! I love this. I found Chuck Wismo like seven times in this episode. Which in the volume is not a member of the Koopa Brothers, that'd be the, uh, black, that'd be the blue Ninja Koopa. Because blue's Ninja Turtles. At least they differentiate the color. The only difference between the Koopa Brothers and the Ninja Turtles are they differentiate the, they differentiate the colors from their, of their bandanas. That's the only difference. Oh yeah, we're going for eight. What's the question this time? We're going for eight this time, so we can get more badges. How many coins do I need to buy a mushroom to shop in Koopa Village? That'd be, um, I think it's four coins. I think it's four coins. Yeah, it's four coins. A little stumped on that one, but I had to visualize it again. So yeah, we got Chuck Quizmo to show up nine times, including the ten times, including the fifth. So, yeah, if you want to get Chuck Quizmo to show over and over and over again, just keep going to Koopa and Goomer Village once, you start, once you're backtracking. But now I'm going to legit cut to Shooting Star Summit. Anyway, now back at Shooting Star Summit, we're going to give the Crystal Ball to, to Mervale. Ah, uh, hello there, Mario. Alright. Now let's give him the Crystal Ball. Give him the Crystal Ball. Oh, mercy, thank you. I'll cherish this. And for you, here's my autograph. It's promise. It'll be valuable someday. And we get the autograph. Anyway, so, um, uh, now we're going to go more, now we're going to go more, we're going to do more bad shopping. We're gonna do more bad shopping because we need some badges to 100% this. But um, let's see. We couldn't buy um. Let's buy Zap Tap. That's a really solid badge. In battle, makes most enemies who touch Mario take damage. So yeah, it costs four BP. But once we get the BP, in fact, can we possibly quit this? Like um. Okay, so um, let's get Quake Hammer back. Let's readjust our badges. I think I want to stay in, uh, Danger Strats, but, uh, yeah, let's get Zap Tap. Yeah, we are absolutely utilizing the shit out of Zap Tap the next tap. There. Anyway, so, uh, cutting back to Koopa Village. I swear to God, you, you tried this trick on your own. Like, 
all the video and just watch her. Just you'll get Chuck Quizmo spawn ten times. All right, so um, what is more really tells fortune about everything? Shooting Star Summit. We just saw her for Christ's sakes. Anyway, so I guess we're gonna go in the pipe. So uh, we thing is, we're just right after we're right next to Kipper Village, so we might as well might as well deliver the uh, might as well deliver the uh, autograph that we had to seek. They usually make the harder favorites the last one per chapter. We get three star pieces, and then he can't think of any favors. So uh, I guess we can try and get Chuck Quizmo spawn one last time. He's not going to be in Koopa Village. He's not going to be in Koopa Village. He is not going to be in Koopa Village. No, he's not in Koopa Village. But we can go to Goomba Village. Goomba Village is like one of the best places you can get Chuck Quizmo to spawn. We're going to get him. One last time. There we are. What is the name of the character drawing you? Well, she's right next to us. Yeah, she's right next to us. We've got 16 Chuck Quizmo badges and all the Koopa Coot favors in the chapter. I love how I dedicated a whole part of this playthrough to Chuck Quizmo. Like, I swear to freaking God. I swear to freaking God, I dedicated a whole part of this, uh... The Chuck Quizmo. But if we go here... Ah! Uh, just, just now a ghost passed right in front of me. Oh, you saw, did you? Uh, we kind of missed it, so... No! You must have! Over there! No, no! The other way! It went into the forest. But Mario, this madness has to end. When we go, will you go in the forest and see what's going on? I'm ashamed to say it's my job, but I just can't go. I'm too frightened of ghosts. But please, I'm begging you. Anyway, we. This is our job to go and investigate. Pardon me, sir. Would you happen to be Mario? How do you do, sir? My master wishes to see you. You would please call on us at the mansion on the far side of the forest. My master would also like me to add that she has in her possession important news regarding the star spirits. Please make haste. We shall await your arrival with a warm welcome. And if you don't come, we'll get you. Boo! I mean, we'll switch up our party members a bit, so, um... And this is Chapter 3, The Invincible Taba Blubba. And I'll save it up for the next part. So, um... Next time on Paper Mario, we will explore this, uh, forever forest. See you guys then.